So for example, if you want to control your voice tone, the first thing is to be aware of the different tones you have. So in other words, you said there is times that I use an angry tone, right? There are times that I use um, not an angry tone and I'm more relaxed. And then there's times that I'm probably um, a little bit lethargic. Lethargic means I'm not as involved, so I hold back. So there's different voice tones that have got different energies in it. So the question you're asking is, how do I control that? Well, the first thing is emotion. What emotion are you feeling? And are you in control of your emotion? Now, sometimes we end up with a voice tone that becomes a muscle memory. So in other words, it's constantly showing up like that. It doesn't matter. And you might go, I'm not angry. I'm not angry. And people say, but you sound angry. And you go, I'm not angry because you've been practicing anger for so long that it's become normal. So if somebody says you sound angry, then you probably do sound angry, <laughs> even if you don't, you don't agree with that. Now, at the other time, somebody says, you always sound happy. And you're going, you know what? I'm not really happy. You know, but for some reason, people prefer happy, don't they? They prefer happy. So that's positive, isn't it? You always sound happy. But sometimes, you know what? You may want to put your foot down and say, no, I want to express my anger right now. I need to show them that this is not right. We don't do this anymore. So how do you control that tone? Is it usually anger or um, I wouldn't use the word anger, but if something is like no, the voice drops deeper. It's no. It's not fast. It's slow. It's confident and it's deeper tone. If it's happy, it's high. If it's compassionate, empathy, nurturing, it's breathier. Do you see? So... You can learn to do all this, but you do need to do some awareness and you need to record yourself so you can hear and you can get some feedback. There is one more thing is that you've got to be able to go up and down with your voice. So it's not always at one level like this and coke's going and it always has the same rhythm and it's at the same pitch and it goes on and on and on and on and on because it makes it very boring for people to connect with. It becomes hypnotic. But if you shift it, you shift it and you make it exciting sometimes, nice and bright. Hi, how are you? So good to see you. You know what happened the other day? Did you hear my pitch? Do you know what happened the other day? And you're going, what? What happened? Well, you wouldn't believe it. I went down the road and again, I saw it again. How many times have I said it? Do you see how I'm changing my voice? So it's a bit like acting, but it's a bit more interesting. That's all.